What's up, y'all? It's AJ Simmons here from the Clean Biz Network. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a million dollars off of $10 an hour, all right? So I'm going to take y'all to the whiteboard here. I'm going to take me off this screen, and I'm going to show you how you can literally get rich and get to a million dollars off of $10 an hour, all right? So... Headed to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for I'm on my grind, not no more. I'm just gonna do some real quick numbers. First, let's look about this handy dandy calculator real quick. Now, y'all know first off what do I specialize in? Commercial cleaning, right? So let's talk about commercial cleaning, all right? Now, let's just say you wanted to bid on an opportunity. Let's just say you got an opportunity to bid at a manufacturing facility or a car dealership and they had a facility and you said, okay, well, how much am I gonna charge this company? Well, let's just say it takes you eight hours to clean the building eight man hours let's say you put two people in there take them four hours each that's eight man hours right so then you take that eight man hours and then you say okay well how much i'm going to charge per hour well how much would you pay somebody else to do it let's just say you'll pay somebody else 15 dollars to do it so then you double whatever you're going to pay somebody per hour so that'll be 30. okay so you do eight man hours times 30 dollars an hour that's what you're going to charge to the customer so now you're making 240 every single time that you go, all right? Then you take that 240, multiply that by five days per week. There you go, that's what you're making every week. Multiply that by 4.33 weeks in a month. And this is what you're gonna charge your customer every single month, all right? Now, let's just say, let's just say, and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this fast and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna break it down and show you how you're gonna make this million off of $10 an hour. But let's just say you do this 20 more times. So let's just say you get 20 buildings, 20 car dealerships, or 20 churches, or whatever building that you can find that will pay you at least $5,100 a month, right? So you get 20 of those. And there you go. That's what you're making every single month. Here's what you're making every single year. You got it, 1.2 million. Now let's back up a bit, all right? So we started off with the $15 per hour times excuse me, with the $30 an hour, $15 each employee get, you get in a passive uh, 15 out of it. But let's just say for a second, instead of the $30 an hour times eight, you remember it was 240 every time you go? Well, out of that 30, is it all 30 years? No, 15 of that is going to your worker, right? Now, you gotta pay, the business gotta make some money too, right? So let's take another five out for the business. Now you left with $10 an hour, okay, well, you're gonna make $10 an hour passive, all right? $10 times eight hours in a day. Now you're making a passive $80 a day. Then you do 80 times five, just like we did earlier, five days in a week. Now you're making $400 a week passive. Then you do 400 times 4.33 weeks in a month. And you get 1732, that's what you're making per month off of that one contract that was paying you 5,000 or something. I can't remember what number it was, all right? So, again, remember? I said you get 20 more of those. Do 20. There you go. Now you're making almost a half a million dollars a year and you're not cleaning anything, okay? This is the key. This is the key to it, all right? So this is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. What do you need to do? You need to get you one building, okay? That's your first building. Then what you should do in this building is what? Don't clean, okay? DC, don't clean, okay? Don't clean that building. You find you a worker. Let me get me a little stick figure here. Get you a worker, maybe two, just in case one calls out, the other one can cover it, right? Put those two workers in that building, and now they work it. So he getting $15 an hour, he getting $15 an hour, right? And then you making your passive money over here, all right? Now, all you need to do is take this same building and do the same thing over here. Set up another one and do this 20 times, okay? Just 20 times. 20 buildings, y'all. All you need is 20 buildings. At my peak, I believe I was at 23 buildings, what, my own company. I've managed a total, I want to say it was like 500 buildings when I was an operations manager at Jam Pro. 
but on my own with my company, I had a total, I believe, of 23 buildings all at once. And it wasn't that hard to manage 20 buildings, y'all. So you can get 20 buildings. The key is not working them, okay? Because, see, this is what you're doing. See, most people will get these buildings. I've been over this before with y'all. Most people will get these buildings, and if you're making how much did I say it was? It was like 50 something hundred. So let's just say you make $5,100 off of it. Most people get that one building right here for 5100 And then they say, oh, I make $5,000 a month. That's $60,000 a year. I'm doing good. But how many hours are they working to do that? They probably working 50 hours a week just to clean that one building by themselves. And then they taking that whole $60,000 home. But you know what's wrong with that? Now they're a self-employed person. They're getting taxed at the highest tax rate, even higher than an employee would because of self-employment tax. And they ain't really making it. They're working all their time away and ain't making nothing, right? So instead, what they should be doing is starting with this one building. Let's say it's 5100 Pay out half of it. So what is half of 5100 Half of that, uh, let's see if I find my calculator. So five of that, half of that 5100 divided by two should go to the employee overhead. So you at 2,500, right? Now, you also need to take out a percentage to go into your business, right? So what was that? So 40% should go towards you, all right? So let's do 5,100 times 0.4. There you go. So out of that 5,100, you wanna take home at least 2040 of it. The rest of it is going to employee overhead and into uh, in your business account. And when you put it in your business account, what is it covering? It's covering things like supplies. It's covering working capital and all these other things, right? And honestly, the bigger you grow, the less you're going to have to pay yourself anyway, right? Because do you really need to live off a of half a million? You probably don't. You probably can live off a quarter million, put the other 250 extra uh, thousand inside your business account so you can grow even faster, right? You want to put it into more marketing. You want to put it, put it into just working capital in case, in case things go wrong, right? You might even put something in the market, right? So you can build interest on saving your money, right? But this is the thing, and nobody pays attention to it. Everybody keeps trying to work it and working and working. You say, yeah, if I could just get one more of these, because see, if you get two of these, oh, you really rolling the dough, right? You're making $10,000 a month. You had six figures. And what are everybody bragging about right now? Oh, I make six figures. And da, 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 da. no, 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 no. Who cares about six figures? We trying to get to that that M, right? You want a million, right? Well, you ain't going to get a million doing this, trying to work the whole thing by yourself. Instead, what you should be doing is hiring. That's how you build a system out of your business, right? You want to put those workers in there. And then and notice how I said you got two workers over here. So you see these two? You got two workers over here instead of one worker because what if one calls out, right? Now, also notice that when I did the budget earlier, I just took out the amount for, let's say we had $30 to start with, we were charging the customer. Half of it went to the workers, right? Then another another five went to the business account. And then the 10 left over was for you. Well, as you grow, what are you gonna need? You're gonna need more things. You're gonna need inspectors, right? You're gonna need uh, a general manager. You're gonna need other things in place to make your system stronger. So the more you add, now you're going to have more coming out of that overhead, right? So instead, you making that $10 passive, you might make five passive, but guess what? Who cares as long as you're multiplying? If you can get $5 per hour, and if you just multiply that by 10 of them or 20 of them or 100 buildings, it's all about how many times can you multiply, right? And stop trying to eat the whole $30 an hour. See, when people hear me say, oh, we charge $30 an hour on commercial cleaning, or we charge $25 an hour on commercial cleaning, or whatever the case may be, $25, $28, whatever it is. And then people say, $30 an hour, $25 an hour, I can make more than that at my job. Okay, well, go back to the job then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go back to the job. But we ain't about working for money over here. We're about, we're about building this. We're about building that system, right? This right here. This right here. We're about being a system creating jobs for people. And see, here's the thing, too. When you pay these people, you say, I notice I used the example $15 an hour. I don't know about where y'all are from, but where I'm from, that's decent. That's decent pay for, a level, for that level of a worker who's simply performing cleaning, which is a job that anybody can do. That's decent pay, right? And see, this is also why these corporations are having trouble with keeping workers because they don't even understand this concept. And not just make it sound like I'm some genius and I know more than McDonald's Corporation. But my point is, 
I know this because I come from the bottom, right? I know that once I finally did get the job that paid me well enough, I stayed for three years, which was as long as I ever kept a job, right? If you just pay people well enough and show them respect, they will show up to work. But if you're going to think you're going to pay them $10 an hour or $8 an hour and think they're going to keep showing up with a smile on your face, you're wrong, okay? So you got to pay your people well. That's why I always pay at least 50%. Okay, let me get let me start over, clear some of this out for y'all. But I always try to pay at least fifty percent. All right, so try to pay at least fifty percent of whatever you're charging your customer. You might even get away with sixty, but it's all about knowing your numbers. All right, that's supposed to be percentage. But try to pay fifty percent to your workers, and then you figure out how you're gonna eat off the rest. Right, that's all you got to do, and then multiply. Make sure that these people are well trained. So make sure you train them well. Make sure they have the proper uh, equipment. So I'm going to put PPE, even though that's not really what PPP I means. PPE is personal protective equipment, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So they need the equipment. They need the training. They need uh, the pay well, right? So make sure you're paying them well. And then make sure you're showing them respect, right? And keep it excited. You know, do some bonuses at Christmas. Do some gifts. Do some giveaways. But keep them excited. But the key you got to understand is you are not... You are not going to build you no empire, and you are not going to build you a big business unless you have what? A team, right? And what is your team? Your workers, your employees, right? And so this is the thing, y'all. Until you accept charging $30 an hour and only taking home 5 to $10 out of the 30 and being okay with that, that's when you're going to make it. Until then, you're going to keep working for this. And you're going to be an overworked, self-employed person. And you ever, have y'all ever seen Robert Kiyosaki's, uh, his, uh, what is it? I forgot what he called it, but it's basically like this. Okay, so you got the four quadrants. What is it? You got the E over here. You got the I over here. You got the B up here. And then you got the S right here. This S quadrant is the solopreneur, right? The self-employed person. That's what you are when you're trying to do this whole $30 an hour by yourself. And that's not where you want to be. This is where you are when you say, well, I can take this $30 an hour and I can go over here and get this job and make the same thing. Okay. But you're never getting rich doing that. Then this is where you are when you say, actually out of that 30, I'll just take 10. Y'all can keep the 15, right? And then I'll just take 10 and five and go in my business account. And then I'm gonna build and I'm gonna make this passive. And I'm going to multiply that times 100 or 1,000 or whatever, right? So you're going to 100x that. And then once you got this down pat and you got that business down pat where you're duplicating it, that's how you get rich quick. And when I say get rich quick, I mean 10 years or less. You want to get rich? This is how you get rich quick, 10 years or less. Because guess what? If you want to get rich over here, what you got to do? You got to work over here. 40, 50, 60 years at a job, put it in a 401k or some type of uh, retirement account and pray that you get to your million dollars, right? Saved up in your savings account. With this one, you better pray for Lord that you don't break a leg or an arm or anything and hope that, you know what I mean? That you, cause you, you still gonna make a decent money, right? Cause you're still making the same thing that the employer was making, I mean, employee was making. Only difference is you're taxed at a higher level, which you don't want. And then you're also, uh, you don't have any benefits over here. So you got to, you know what I mean? That's why I say don't break no leg or anything over here. So this is a danger zone. This is not where you want to be, that S quadrant. So you, you want to be here. Build your business. And then once you build your business and you're making some real revenue, you done made that 100X, now you can take it and become what? An investor. Because the thing about investing is that's when you can make your money work for you. But that's why I don't teach investing on my channel as much is because guess what? You need money to invest. Most of us don't have any. We don't come from money. So therefore, we have to build this, a business first, right? So you start off here, most of us, then we end up going here. Then we get smart and say, oh shit, I need to hire some people, right? And then you finally come here. And that's how it goes. But it would be nice if you can skip from here straight to there, right? And so that's what I try to teach you guys to do. Definitely get your hands on experience a little bit over here, but do not make a career out of this because if you make a career out of that S quadrant, self-employment, you're going to get stuck, all right? So, if y'all were live with me, I would ask you if there any questions, but y'all not. 
But leave your questions down in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're on the podcast. Hopefully that information translated well for you because you can see when I was drawing on the whiteboard. But anyway, if you haven't started your cleaning business yet, make sure you go to cleanbiznetwork.com. That's cleanbiznetwork.com. Check out our cleaning business starter kits. We can help you get started with your cleaning company. And I can show you how I was able to start my cleaning company. Automated. Moved down to Florida with all the palm trees. And I'm chilling while my cleaning company still ran up in Virginia. And I ended up selling it. And I ended up building this new empire called Clean Biz Network. And we're trying to get you there. All right. So appreciate y'all for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Check out and see what we got to help you get started with your cleaning company. Or grow with your cleaning company if you already got started at cleanbiznetwork.com. And also I created a mobile app to help you as well as far as bidding, as far as creating proposals and all type of other stuff. So check out my mobile app. It's called Calculated Clean. So that's Calculated Clean. Just go into the app store and look for it. I'm AJ Simmons. I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you.